all ready. I've got all my bait out now. As you can see, I've just chopped up some worms. I call it the magic mix. Look at that. So it's a bite of chuck now. Awesome. Another skimmer. Absolutely immaculate. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Tench. Absolutely awesome. Hello, and as you can see, we're not on a commercial. We're on the town centre in Bedford on the embankment and it's free fishing. It's the River Great Ooze and I don't live too far from here and if I get any spare time, I come down here and do a bit of feeder fishing. Not so much here, further up the river. But I've came here because I used to, I have seen a big shoal of bream here. But hopefully, we'll have a nice few hours, my way feeder fishing, where we're gonna get bites from everything, from little perch, maybe some big perch, skimmers, chance of bream, I've seen shoals of bream here. Uh, we've had a little bit of colour in the river. It's flat calm at the moment. Seen a few fish topping, but small fish, so we definitely get bites. I'm all set up, so let's get fishing. You can see behind me, though, we're in the main town and all the restaurants. It really is a built-up area here, and it hardly gets fish. I'm really excited about this, so let's get fishing and see what we catch. Right, I'm all ready, I've got all my bait out now. As you can see, I've just chopped up some worms, I call it the magic mix. I've chopped up probably um, 200 ml of worms, handful of sweet corn, a lot of caster to make a pint of bait. So I know once I've used that, I've put in a pint. Now, I've got some casters, some dead maggots, worms, some little red worms, which are a must, all feed efficient. Little red worms, just unbelievable, magic bait. But I'm going to start off, I'm going to put in probably three or four of one of their larger cages full of that magic mix topped up with a bit of ground bait. And the ground bait mix I've got here, I've mixed up. I've got a little bit of sweet skimmer, uh, some Sonia bait, so natural, black roach and crushed hemp with a little bit of brown crumb. And it's all sort of the same amount of each. Um, I always knock it up like probably 20 minutes before, let it soak and then riddle it off. Um, and then you get a nice fine mix, don't fill up the fish, and puts out a lovely bed out there. And with the hemp in there, it makes it a little bit more active to draw fish in. Um, I'm a firm believer in an active ground bait is better than a still ground bait. So let's get some feeders out there and get a bed down ready to fish over. And just simply fill it up and just cap it off. I'm clipped up out there, at probably, I would say I'm probably fishing at about 27 metres. Now I've, I've gone 27 metres because the main flow of the river that comes through, I'm just on the edge of where the flow just stops and then it just starts to shallow up and you get a lot of fish summertime in that shallow water over there, but I'm just on the edge because there's a lot of fish come just into the flow looking for food and I just believe that's where the fish like to hang about. Just on the edge of the flow, coming out to pick up any food that's coming floating down and hopefully I'll set a trap there and that's the best place to fish. So I'm just out of the flow, just, just on the, the bottom before it rises into slightly shallow water. It's probably about 10 foot out there. I'll put in four out there. Yeah, about 10 foot it is. I think it'd be mainly skimmers, smaller fish we'll catch, but there's, there's a big shoal of bream live along here, so you never know. And it just doesn't get fished, and it's free fishing. Free fishing. 
all the way through Bedford Town Centre, it's free fishing, and it is full of fish. What could be better than that? Right, there we go. That's enough, so I'm going to take off that bigger cage that I've just put the feed out with and put on one of our little 30 gram plastic flatbed feeders. Just attach my hook length on there. Like I say, if I start getting some bream or we'll bites I'm not seeing, I should just shorten that hook length. But there's the setup there. piece of dendrobina and I'll st start with not the thickest end I'll start with the slimmest end there of a live dead maggot and I'll hook that through the head there we are. hopefully we'll get bites within 10-15 minutes hopefully I like to get a bite straight away but you never know it's fishing not catching so here we go, first cast. Yeah, bite straight away. And fish straight away. Let's hope we don't get mullered by these. <laughs> Bleak. Took that worm, it's nearly as big as it. I've got O12 Horizon Braid <clears throat> and I've got a leader of O24 Horizon monofilament line, and that's with four turns on the reel. It's using braid, the bite detector is so much better, so more direct. We've obviously got that monofilament that when I come in, I've got that security. I get, this is not a bleak, when the fish is under my feet, it's more as a shock absorber, a bit more forgiving than if it was braid direct. Must be a perch, yeah, perch. A bit bigger, that'll do. Oh, oh, look, I've got some slime on the line. I don't know if you can see that, I'll just hold that up, I'll just unlock that perch. I've got slime. That is definitely, as I've hooked that, that's rolled against a bream out there. Right. I've got a feeling we're going to get a bream. Shorten that now. Probably a foot and a half. Change that worm. I'll go for its big, thick head this time. The 
live maggot again. Yeah, that looks a bit better. This bite indication will be much quicker now with that shorter, shorter hook length, shorter tail. Oh, oh, that was a bream. Oh, that was a very shy bite. Just showed you short enough hook length. I just said that bite detector was much quicker. And the worm's just gone over itself. Right. Awesome. what it's all about. Look at him. What a beauty. Absolutely immaculate. Three pound of prime river bream. Let's get another one. bite. Well I think it's another purse but it felt like a bream at first. Lovely bite. No, he's fine like a perch now. There's some perch out there, some perch in this river. Oh no it is a skimmer, no. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Such fresh fish, they just fight so different because they've never been caught before. Awesome. Much better with two big bits of worm, much better. Lovely. They're a nice fish to catch, they are. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Lovely fish to catch. Really are. Superb. So it's a bite of chuck now. It's awesome. Another skimmer. What I'll do, I'll get this in and I'll just talk you through my setup. Rod, reel, line, etc. etc. Um, this is just awesome. I think I'll be fishing on after we've made this short video. It's that good. Yeah, another skimmer. Oh, oh wow, a bream really. <laughs> right, well just in that lovely skimmer again, or bream. Um, just go through my setup. I'm using the Horizon Pro Distance 3.7 meter, 12 foot, 90 gram um, feeder rod. I've got a two ounce tip in it. I've got a 12 ounce Horizon braid with the Aquos 3000, uh, Ethos, sorry, 3500 reel. And that is the braid spool on there. 150 metres of 012 is perfect on there. And then I've got a um, shock leader. Um, I use the 024 in the Horizon um, reel line, monofilament line, and I put four turns on the reel. And then if you come down to the feeder attachment, all I've done, I've double looped the main line, twiddled it up, put a quick 
swivel link on there to take the feeder. That's one of our plastic medium 30 gram feeders. Quick change hook length swivel. 014 uh, power micron and then I've got a size 14 MXB3 um, barbed, one of the new hooks. And that's it, very simple. I've shortened the hook length. I did start, as you see, with a longer hook length. It's better with a shorter hook length. I've shortened that up. Ideal. Perfect setup. Let's go and catch some more. Well, that was a lovely bite, back on worms. Beautiful bite that was. Another bream, awesome. Um, a couple of pounds that won't give up. Anywhere else that'll give up you now. Here he comes. In he goes. Look at that beautiful fish. Just in that inside of that top lip just to get the disgorge up. Well, this has been an awesome session. Awesome. Where can you go on free fishing and get a bite, a chuck? I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, it's been awesome. I've not gone 10 seconds without a bite. It's ridiculous. Even this rattling all the time now. It might be a small fish there now this time. But it's been brilliant because I started and then I realised straight I had to shorten the hook length, just shorten the hook length. There's fish when I cast in, like small bleak and that on the top still, a little bit of bait that comes out of the feeder when it hits. Um, lots of perch, some nice bream, skimmers, roach, caught everything, but very important just to keep casting. I knew straight away to shorten the hook length, because I said earlier that when, when you're chucking a feeder in, the vortex of it shooting down Normally, the hook bait lands within 12 inches of your feeder, however long your hook length is. Obviously, unless it's in real flowing river, it pulls it down straight onto it. So I just shorten the hook length just to see the bites better. This is your quicker bite indicator because there's not so much line from tightening up the human indication. Also, what we didn't film when we went Facebook Live during the session today, I hooked a fish, I had to unclip, big fish, it bust me on 014 up length. May have been a carp, but I reckon it might have been a real big bream or a big tench. Because as it goes, it went further over as I unclipped and went into the weed and done me in the weed, but it was a big fish. It would be a double figure fish if it was a bream and maybe eight, eight to 10 pound tench, big fish. Um, just annoyed I didn't, you know, if I'd lost it at the landing net, it would have <laughs> been a better story. But um, yeah, so I mean, along this fishing here that's free, you just don't know what you're going to hook. You know, I haven't fished this bit before here, but I fished further up and caught bream and all sorts. It's fantastic fishing. Well, I'm going to give it a little bit more, just see if I get another bream. I'm hooked on this. This is awesome fishing. And for me, it's only 10 minutes from my house. Have a little skimmer. Awesome. They're lovely fishing this is.
Another nice bream. Incredible fishing. <laughs> well, free fishing and catch one of these every other chat. And in between perch, roach, smaller skimmers. It's another good bream this is. Well, I reckon what way to finish. Or is it a bream? Felt like a tench then. Might be a tench. Maybe a tench. I think it is a tench actually. Oh, look at that. A <laughs> tench. Absolutely awesome. Well, that's definitely a fish to finish on, that is. Oh, look at that, a prime. I would say that has got to be nearly five pound river tench. I think we'll call it a day on that and see what I've got in the net. What a beautiful fish to finish on. Well, there are, there's just three of the better fish I caught. Lovely tench, two lovely bream amongst probably 50 pound of fish in three hours. Fancy a three days fishing, get down here on the embankment, on the great ooze. It's awesome. Now let's get these back. Thank <laughs> you.